and it was a claim that a girl said she got raped in the metaverse. I'm like, how? How do you get raped in the metaverse? You can't. Brother, you, you log off. You, yeah, log, turn this shit off. <laughs> turn this shit off. Yo, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of the Hit and Different podcast. We're here for another episode, episode 34. 34? Um, we've had a, a trash weekend. A long. A long. Long. The, 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 yeah, like the, the emphasis. Title, the long weekend. Long weekend, long brother. Weekend. The long fucking weekend. We, um, we just came off a party. Express. Express, I guess. The, the train, you can say. The train yeah, didn't the, stop. The party train. Um. Good, good weekend. But good like, weekend, great weekend, yeah. without a doubt. Like we're not, we're not taking anything away from it. It was yeah. a, an amazing weekend. Yeah. A lot of, lot of fun opportunities, a lot of fun times, yeah. a lot of, lot of fresh faces, a lot of, lot of old faces that we got to see. Mm. Um, yeah, it was honestly a really good weekend. Yeah. Do you want to start? Yeah, I will. Okay, so we um, when uh, honestly, and this this week was typified by Josh, like our, our roommate. Yeah. Walked in and told us a crazy. We can't no. even say that. Yeah, we're not gonna, we're all. not gonna repeat the story. Anything at all. <laughs> Like, but it's yeah, yeah fucked up. Honestly. He did well. He did well. He did well. Um, yeah. So honestly, wait. Before we get into it, the plugs. Yep, sorry. As we usually do. As I usual. know we gotta get our customs mate, right here, mate. Um. So at Hidden Different Pod on Instagram and TikTok. Yes, sir. We have the YouTube. Like, subscribe, comment, mm-hmm. hit the bell notification. Mm-hmm. If you're an audio listener on Spotify or Apple Podcasts, follow, like, and leave a review. Ding. We greatly appreciate it. Also, actually, a new thing we have to plug now. Oh, yeah, the plug. The the, the the playlist. The playlist, brother. We got a playlist running. We talked about it last week or spoke about it rather. Yep. Um, we finally got it up and running. We finally have it up and running. So if you're a Spotify user, type in HD Radio or if you check the links in the description on whatever platform you're listening or watching this on mm-hmm. um, or even the Insta, if you go to our link tree. Yeah, link tree, yep. Yeah, it's yep. at the top there. So um, what is it? do you just like the playlist? Is that how you... Yeah, you usually like the playlist and it should come up in your... Um, yeah, your feed. Your... Yeah. your like playlist section mm-hmm. um download the playlist as well so yep. you can listen to it wherever you go at all yep. times yeah um, um but it's called hd radio i don't mm. know if i specified that yet yeah and what that is is we've been doing this in the last two weeks and it's going to be recurring our hit and different song of the week mm-hmm. so every time we do a hit and different song we add it in there so our one from this week each is going to yep. go in there mm-hmm. um when we have guests on as well we're going to ask them what their song is yep um add that one on so there'll be three that week for instance or if they're an artist, and more than likely they will be, yep. if they have a new single or something, one of their top singles, it's we're going to add that on there to promo for them as well. So yeah, give yeah them a- get around. It's a community curated playlist. Yeah. You guys are involved. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, we no, there's another thing we're talking about. Mm. So another, uh, another way to Another get way of getting a song onto the playlist. Yeah, is um, you guys. So we're going to have a thing running where it's like you guys let us know what your hitting different song is a week that you just fucked with. Yep. Um, probably Thursday nights. So I'll put a little thing on the Insta page. Something like that. Um, we'll listen to a whole bunch of them before the next like recording. We'll yeah, make we'll, a We'll joint, listen to them over the week. Friday or the Saturday whenever we do it. Yeah. Yep. And we'll make like a joint decision on what we thought the best one was. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, that'll be the third one. So that'll it'll be him, me, and then whatever you guys we think is the best from what you guys give. Yeah. And yeah, potentially guests that, as well. That'll be the playlist. Yeah, and then guests as well. So, but yeah, Hasty Radio. Hasty Radio. Look Find it up. It's yes. a great time. <laughs> but anyway, yes. Gone. Um, a, a fucked up weekend. So, I started mine off with a Friday night outing with some work friends that I haven't seen. Oh, no, I haven't seen. One I have, the other one's moved on. So, yep. haven't seen them in a while. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Wild. The, oh, it was fucked. The only, okay, so we pre drank here. Yep. Until like ten o'clock or so. Long. Long. Like usually you're night in the city. Pre pre like- meant to pre's meant to end by like eight. I can't lie. It's yeah. no longer pre's. Yeah. You're at a party. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you had a small party at the yeah. house. <laughs> we were getting smashed and we like sort of looked at each other on this exact couch we're sat yep. down right now. We're sitting. Yep. And um we're like, what's the time? And we're like, it's ten o'clock. It's late. We're not even moving. Like, yeah, there's, there's no, there's no Uber on the way. Yeah, there's no, there's Play. like, like there's yeah. nothing. It's just like chop. So we're just like, okay, fuck it. We got to go now. Yep. And um, an annoying story on the side here. I ordered the Uber to leave. Mm-hmm. He, you usually like your Uber when you're at a party or whatnot, or a bit distracted. You never get there and you're not ready for him all the time. Like, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. He's, like, he's, he usually has to sit out the front for a minute or two. Yeah, and then he send like a text or a call. Yeah, yeah. Like, hey, this. brother, I'm here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some shit like that. So what happened? This dude came and I looked at the maps. I was actually being a bit conscious. Yeah. But he never said he arrived. It was like one minute away, but he was yeah, still there. Yeah, he was down the road type Yeah, thing. and then all of a sudden he's just arrived. And then I'm like, okay, calm. Girls, we got to go. Yeah. So we leave. And then as I'm leaving, right, I make eye contact with the dude. Yeah. Like out there. And then he just drives away. <laughs> so I'm like stood here. I'm watching this guy go drive away. He drives, he drives, he drives. I get a buzz. I look down at my phone. 
Cancellation fee ten dollars. I look back up. I'm like long. How long? Like, I just looked you. Like you know who yeah, I like. Yeah, yeah. I'm, here. I'm here, brother. You're at the right address. Yeah. And you've seen people walk out the front door. Yeah. How the fuck are you gonna hit me? And with then that? you hit me with that. Yeah. I was so pressed about that. Mate, call Uber. I'll be like, no, I am. I'm, uh, I am. I'm, I'm cool. a bit petty. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna call. Bit, I'm, I'm gonna call my ten bucks back. Yeah, like, yeah, brother, I mean, fuck this guy yeah, and his cancellation fee, yeah, dog. And um. So yeah, anyway, shitty yep. Uber story. Yep, yep. Went in, had a typical fucked up night. We didn't really need to drink much because we were that plastered here before we yeah, went yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you just got there, had a few to top you up yeah, and it was, it was, was, it was chilling, yeah. Um, met some people on the train. They gave us more free drinks, which was blessed. Always blessed. And then when- oh, Maybe not always blessed. Yeah, were they, were they pre-open went, drinks? Nah, nah. Oh, okay, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Always blessed, in always case, blessed, yeah, always blessed, yeah, yeah. always blessed. And um, yeah, they gave us a couple of drinks. They kept us on the buzz. And yep. then we went in, literally didn't have to spend a single dollar until right at the end, like an- it's like three in the morning now. It was a late night long for day, us. Long day, long yeah. day, yeah. Um, someone goes, because they had um, Cliff Dive. It's They have like slushy shots and stuff like that yeah, there. Yeah, so yeah. they're like, let's get a slushy shot. I'm like, bet. We do one. Filthy, but I was like, okay, calm. Fuck it, yeah. Um, X, like X is in her name. I'm not going to say it. Yep. Um, I'm going to transfer you for this shot, right? Mm. And then she's like, oh, the other one, the other girl was like, no, let's just all do a round on each other right now and just pump three. I'm like, are you long serious? Long day. I'm like, it's 3 a.m. right now. Yeah, like, like, I'm trying to get my come down. Like, yeah, go home. You just want to go home yeah, and be able yeah, to wake yeah. up in the morning not feeling like death. Yeah. So like 2, 3 a.m. We pumped down three shots now. <sighs> Dragged. <sighs> Dragged. Killed me. That's just the end of the night. Yeah. Right there at that moment. Me. And fin- finished me. Fin- and then I, I've sat down, right? Because I'm, I'm waved. Yeah. And I had an illicit substance. I'm not going to say what it we're means. Not gonna, we're not going to expose. You know, I've, I've told yeah, you. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. You, told, yeah. Me, you yeah. told me what it is. It has something to do with sniffing, but not snorting. If that, 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 that <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess, I guess you're right. It's, yeah. a, it's a certain smell. Yeah. Let's just say yeah. that. It's a certain smell. So the way this has happened, so I, I'm sat down, like I said, and then like I'm waved. So I'm sat there like heads kicking around, yep. like eyes closed. And then some girl next to me just goes, oh, have a sniff. And I'm just like, wavy, wavy, look down. And then I'm like, fuck. Fuck. I look back yeah. down. <laughs> I'm like, what have I sniffed? And then, yeah. Obviously, I found yeah, out what it yeah, was. Yeah. I'm like, fuck. And this is my first time. Because I don't, I don't, you I'm don't, not a person like this. You're not a wilding guy. I'm not a wilding guy. And I, yeah, it hit me straight away. Like a ton of, my head it hits was like on fire. like a truck, like a truck. Yeah. Especially when you're already drunk and fucked yeah, up. It yeah. hits you like a truck. And she's just, when she said it, she giggled. I'm like, you demon. Yeah, I'm like, fucked you guy. demon. <laughs> you yeah. fucked up guy. She's in there like, she's like, ah, ah, ah. Yeah. She, he's, he's gonna die. Like, yeah. it's a great time. <laughs> I'm just like, you're fucked. And that's where my night ended because it hit me so hard. I'm like, when he, it's an underground club as well. Oh, uh, so it was I was getting like, hot, I need fresh air. Yeah, sweaty. Like, I'm like, I'm tapped out for the night now. Like, let me out. So, anyway, we left, we're gone, and. That was my Friday night done. Oh, actually, no, it wasn't my Friday night done. I came home. Long day. Um, walk like walking to bed. Yeah, smashed. Like when I say smashed, I'm like tumbling, fucked up, tumbling like, throughout. Fucked up. You're, hitting, you're, hitting the, you're hitting the walls I'm as you're like, walking. Damn. And you know when you're like drunk enough to like know you're drunk, but you're also sober enough sober to like enough know to realize, that you're fucked up. Yeah. Like you're like shit. Oh, I'm fucked. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like oh, I'm fucked. I'm like smashed there's, I know I'm fucked. There's nothing I can yeah, do about it. No. Like doesn't matter how much bread I was to eat, yeah. a coffee to drink. Like Water. I'm, I'm fucked. Yeah, I'm like fucked. I'm just fucked I'm right now. So I knew that's where I was at. So I'm like, my priority right now is just sleep. Getting some comfy clothes, a bit of water, crash out. Yeah. And then, yeah, I've realized like, fuck, where's my phone? Shut up. And I'm like, surely not. Like, there's no way I've fucking Uber lost my phone. Or the or train some or yeah. some shit like that. I'm thinking, what the fuck? And I was like, I swear I had it on me, like in the car, like mm, I, that mm, got mm, me home, mm, right? Mm, mm. But I'm like, if I didn't, then, then I'm truly fucked. Oh, you know what I mean? Fucked, yeah, no, because if it's on a train or it's on a platform wherever, or wherever, fucking at yeah. the club that it was at. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It's, it's long, it's long, long day. It's long yeah, day. Yeah. yeah. So um, I've like, fucking pulled out my laptop, logged into Facebook Messenger on there, mm. and then I've messaged the girls that I was with. I'm like, hey, someone, any chance, <laughs> please, someone have my phone or anything like that. Yeah. And one girl replied saying it might be in the car, and I was like, yeah, that's where I think it may be. Yeah. But I was that fucked up that I was like, honestly, this is a tomorrow issue. Yeah, you were just I like, was like, honestly, I'm sleeping right there's now. There's no chance that you're finding it yeah, at that moment. Yeah, you're yeah, like, yeah, it's, yeah. It's not getting back to me in the next five minutes. It's not my That's problem. what I deep. Yeah. yeah, I was like, what, I'm going to stress about it and not be able to like physically and do just, anything? just stay up for the rest of the night yeah, and, and, then just, and then just be hungover and shitty yeah, and tired. Yeah, 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 and like, yeah. it was just long day. So I'm just, like, just going to sleep. Yeah. My only like concern or qualm was that I had work the following morning Yeah, and my phone is my alarm. So I'm like, fuck. If you sleep through. Yeah, if I sleep through you, now, I'm yeah, fucked it's again. Just, it's you know long what I mean? Day, so long day. thankfully body woke me up and
still no idea where my fucking phone is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then- Kind of woke up thinking like, damn, was it just a dream? Like, yeah. maybe it's on charge. Well, like- I, so I went through like a process. I'm like, yeah, surely they had it. Then I was like, maybe I'm losing it. And I'm like, fuck, if I've lost it, it's actually gone now. So like, what do I do? So yeah. I, I was getting to the point of like, processing the whole thing of it all going. <laughs> like, damn, this is going to be an yeah, expensive trip yeah, to Apple. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be an expensive trip. <laughs> and then I got a text like just before I left work saying, hey, check your mailbox. And oh. thankfully enough, it was there. Because I I, th- I think what had happened, it was found in, in the car. Yeah. And they just dropped it. And they like, just come back there. and dropped it off yeah, in the mailbox. Yeah. Just so be nice. that was that. What a nice guy. And then we had range. Oh, actually, you had yeah. Kid Leroy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, technically it wasn't meant to be Kid yeah, Leroy at no. the time. So, so, so Friday, Friday worked, whatever. Yeah. Finished the day, um, went to Para, got a haircut, um, then came home. Honestly, didn't even get to, didn't even get to like come home. I can't lie. Like, I well, that's to, been us all weekend. Like, we haven't just, been home full stop. Like, like we come this in. This is the like, first time I've sat down yeah, in my own house yeah, this whole weekend. Like, same, yeah. Like, yeah. genuinely, like, it's been long, yeah, long yeah, fucking weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, so like, ended up coming home, got changed straight away, left straight away. Went to, so our friend um, Z Pluto had mm. a, a, a event with Take Flight um, out the front of Kudos Bank Arena where Leroy was performing that night. And it was pretty much all set up. So as the fans were gathering towards the gates and stuff before the doors opened, mm. they would be playing not right out the front of the gates or anything like that, but close enough that where you the could hear them. Goes and all yeah, that. there were near the car parks and yeah. stuff. So people that were walking past could definitely hear and see mm. them. Um, so that actually went really well, to be honest. Like there was you a any decent the, crowds. Uh, nothing consistent. Nothing. Right? Nothing consistent. Stay for a bit, then they'd go, stay right? for like a song yeah. and then be like, okay, song's over. Let's 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 go. Glory. Let's go line up or yeah. let's go get chip on a stick or whatever the fuck <laughs> it was. Um. So yeah. So the actual event itself was like it was honestly run pretty well. Mm. Um. Obviously, there wasn't a huge, massive turnout, but as expected, like it was just meant to be something small to kind of promote the artists. Mm. Um. And then yeah, so we're sitting there. We, uh, I initially planned that after that event was done, I was going to be like, okay, bet. I'm going home, going to bed. Like I've had yeah. a long, a long week, work week. I just want, want to go home, go sleep, get a call. As soon, like as soon as like a junior Z Pluto gets off stage, get a call. And um, Amanda from Universal that we know is like, hey, y'all, like, yeah. we, we can sort you tickets. Like we, we can get shit sorted. Like, like we'll get back to you. Yeah. And we're like, shut. Like. Okay, like, <laughs> like, now our like we're we're right here. Yeah. Like we're literally, I can see the entrance to this thing, and the odds that he calls and says like, "Hey, do I you want to go?" Something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, do you want to go? Like, I can line something up. Yeah. And so it was, it was crazy. So we ended up going in. Um, we met up with the guy. Um, I don't, I'm not gonna say his name because I don't know what he's like with that. But um, yeah, he he sorted us out so nicely. Got us this like box suite type mm, situation mm. which was dangerous yeah, I can't I lie. It, yeah. like i've never i can't lie i've never bought seated tickets for a show only because i love moshing. Being moshing, yeah. i love being down yeah, in the crowd yeah, yeah. jumping around getting that's such a bad experience up. i don't care what anyone says i was saying it the whole time yeah. as well while i was there i was looking at the crowd and i was like i would actually kill to be down there yeah like yeah. down there looks so lit yeah, like they're yeah. having the fucking best like, time when you're seated and now you're in a box seat which is even higher and further yeah. away you're not really in the atmosphere and the vibe yeah. of the whole although don't get me wrong i was screaming all the way like oh, the lyrics and yeah. stuff like that yeah it was so interesting because personally i don't have a lot of a lot of Leroy on my playlist mm. like it's not it's just not someone that i listen to religiously, religiously or yeah. someone that like don't be wrong i fuck with his music if, if songs come on i listen to them and yeah. i can sing along but like i didn't realize how many of the words that i actually fucking knew there yeah. was only like two songs in the whole set that like yeah. threw me off and then i was like eh, Which one's that? Yeah. let's go <laughs> like yeah and then yeah so his I'll, I'll go through the show actually it was actually a really good show so they opened up with this kid that had like i don't know like 100 monthly listeners or something yeah. Lil, Lil arts i think his name was or he's something like that though, yeah yeah he's 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 one of the Leroy's like old boys in a sense yeah yeah um so that's honestly really good to see like he's putting on mandem i think personally i think more prolific mandem could have been put on. Like I think yeah, right. with an opportunity like that, I think there's people that are also close to Leroy with a bigger following that probably could have used the boost a little bit better. If that yeah, makes like sense. It would have been more efficient to use yeah, on another person rather yeah, than this guy. You know and have I mean? them like fully blow. Cause yeah, yeah. the whole, like a lot of the thing that I saw was as soon as they look this kid up and see that he's only got a few hundred monthly listeners or whatever it was, yeah. a lot of them are like, oh, well, chop. 
like he's, he's just some shit kid that the law is putting on. What? Whereas if you get someone that's already kind of established, it's mm. that whole thing of like, oh no, but this kid's actually up and coming. Like he's on his way up. But apparently this guy wasn't that good though either, to be honest. Yeah, I went and got drinks during his set. I'll be honest. <laughs> yeah. He came on and I was like, ah, like. I'm done. Yeah, I was like, the same me. Like I need a refill. So ended up getting drinks, whatever. Then Leroy started. It was a great time. Well, there was a DJ in between, but that yeah. was the MC for the night. Um, yeah. So that, yeah, then Leroy started. Second song on, brought out 1-4. Crazy. Yeah, did they play My City? That was your yeah, song no, of the yeah, week. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah, my song of the week last yeah, week. Bro, yeah, yeah. The, yeah, the what he what brought the one for. What a like, full circle event, I guess. Yeah, it like, was crazy. Who would have thought a week ago we sat down here talking about your song of the week and now you're watching yeah, it live. Watching you know, it live, it was so nuts, I'll be yeah. honest. Because he was talking about how 1-4 obviously can't organize shows and events and stuff like that because of the whole the whole, the whole yeah, issue. There's just a whole yeah, issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so... Yeah, he was like, he was like, nah, like I gotta put these boys on, like they're they're legends of Sydney, da da da, da all this type of shit. Brought them out, and it was it was actually really quite funny to see because you can tell that they haven't performed a lot. Because uh, like, by, by, I can't lie, by the third song they were gassed. Yeah, right. like that. But to be fair, big stage, like they were running yeah, around, yeah. they were putting in a hundred percent effort, like they were killing it. I well, can't lie. we watched them at um Juice World. Yeah, and yeah. isn't it weird, like when we did watch Juice, mm. that it was one four and Leroy again. Yeah, but Leroy was like sixteen. A tiny kid, and he was the no, pre man. before one four, mm, mm, and mm. now he's the headliner. Now he's on bringing, bringing out his mandem, yeah, yeah, which is funny. It's, it's crazy yeah. to be honest, bro. Leroy got big as well, yeah. I, oh, like, because you mean like, like size or like, like hand, honestly, bit of everything? maybe not, yeah, maybe a bit of everything. Yeah, I can't lie, yeah, he got yeah. lean, he yeah, got he got yeah. fit. Like, I think he's 18 now, yeah, yeah, he should be 18, yeah. Now, so he's yeah. 18 now, he's his voice dropped, like, yeah. he's, he's got a bit of he's got a bit of muscle on his body, yeah. like, he took his shirt off at one point. I was like, shut, you're not the fucking scrawny little white boy that I saw like four years ago. Yeah, like you're yeah. actually, you're, you're a man now. You know <laughs> what? You're growing like, fuck, I feel like giving you a beer, you know, like fuck. And um, yeah, so he brought out one four. They did two of their own songs. So yeah. like two songs without Leroy on it. Mm. But Leroy was just running around gassing him. Yeah, yeah. Banging time. Um, and then fuck, he, did, he ended up doing two shoeys. Yeah. So we did one shoey on the first night and yeah. he was like, well, it's the second night. So two shoeys. Two shoe. Yeah, nice. And um, yeah, I can't remember exactly what he was drinking, but he ended up like switching shoes. So some guy in the crowd was holding a sign saying like, yeah. do a shoey or some shit. He was like, hey, you've been holding that sign all night? Come up here. Like, oh, come up here, do a shoey with me. So yeah. he brought him up. They traded shoes. He like did the shoey, whatever. And it was like, I can't lie. It was already bossed it. He yeah. actually downed it. Like, oh, he really? barely any spillage. Like, oh, respectable effort, yeah, I'll be yeah. honest. Other guy, first one, he did decent. Second one, spilled. Oh, like, yeah, I, th- I, up, yeah. I think he was waved and he was like, I can't be doing this yeah, again. I'm like, yeah, right yeah now I think in front of all these eyes. I think that was actually die. what was going yeah. through his head. He's like, I can't afford to choke and vomit on fucking main stage in front of Leroy. Imagine getting vomit on Leroy at oh. his own show. Like, long yeah, day, yeah, long, 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 long day. Seki's be running up at yeah, you, fucking yeah. douche, gone. Dave like, Chappelle part two. Bad, like finished, finished, yeah. finished. Um, so yeah, so that was pretty much well. That's pretty much what how it like wrapped up. Yeah, like, yeah. It and there was, was a fuck Jordan chant. I heard. Oh yeah. <laughs> so apparently at the show, I wasn't there, but like, I've heard stories where he asked like someone in the crowd, "What's your like your love song?" Like, yeah. I mean, not love song. What was your tragic story? What with was love? your heartbreak? Yeah, yeah heartbreak yeah, story. Yeah. That's better. Mm. And yeah, so he got people to do these chants and whatnot. Mm. And yeah, one of them was fuck Jordan. Yeah. So he like walked over to this girl and he was like, "Hey." Um, it's like, what was the name of the of the guy that fucked you over? And she was like, oh, his name was Jordan. And he turned around and he was like, everybody say, fuck Jordan. Everyone's like, fuck Jordan. And it's the whole crowd like yeah. chanting everyone is like, fuck Jordan. Bro, I've seen it on TikTok now like three or four times. Oh, like really? People that are like, yo, feels bad it. for this Jordan guy. Yeah. And it's like getting ripped right now. Like whoever Jordan is, bro, you need to say sorry. Yeah, all this type of yoga. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, shut free my guy. Like man's got called the out. Whole stadium, yeah, the whole guy. stadium. Apparently the girl that did it was recording it at the time. So oh, I've seen the actual recording of her, her saying her, like, yeah, yeah. From her, from her phone, oh. saying like, "His name's Jordan." He's turned around and Laurie, yeah, Laurie's like, "Fuck him!" All this type of yaga, but honestly, it was it was good vibes. Yeah, it, it was great. Like he really, he really put on saying? a really good show. Yeah, that's good to hear. Then, mm-hmm. um, and then yeah, last night, fast forwarding it, the, to yeah, the day after, skip, skip to the next day. We had um an event called Range. Shout out, good event, very well, crazy event, um, crazy event. Done. So props yeah. to you, dude, yeah, for man. having that. Killed that. Um. Because last minute changes would have to be. I'm not gonna lie. I had my doubts. I had my doubts. Yeah. Um. With the when, last minute ha- when changes the, and all. Yeah. Shit. When the location, when the venue wasn't confirmed and it was like a week out. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, shut long. Yeah. Like this could potentially be a long ass. Yeah. Day. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. like so many tickets were bought, so many artists were lined up. Like. Yeah. If that event fell through, 
It it's fucked. Been, it would have nah, been, it been that bad for his reputation. Would have been so ish for yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. So so ish for so him. So props to you for pulling that. Yeah, through. he actually pulled it off. Um, like he, but yeah, he very, very fucking good night, man. Like mm, we enjoyed mm, ourselves mm. so much. We had boys perform like our boys. Yeah, um, yeah. A whole bunch of different other Sydney artists and all that. It was good to get a because there were so many people. It was so it was actually, good to get like a, a, a full huge variety spectrum of like, yeah. of like female artists, male artists, slow, fast yeah, rap, R and B, like. It was just a bit of everything. Yeah, it was really like it, it was crazy. Yeah, like it, it was. It and was the venue such a was good, good night. for a last minute venue. Anyway, the venue was crazy. Like the way that they had all the clothes set up and yeah, stuff. And you yeah. walked in, and they had like stamps, and mm. they had a checklist. And the, the, once you walked through, there was the bar and the main stage it was yeah. really well lit, and the lighting was good, and the sound was immaculate, yeah, and there yeah. was no issues with mics, no issues with speakers. Like ran very smoothly. It was one of the f- like one of the first shows that I've gone to. Like not one of the first, maybe. But one, one of the, of the few, few show, one of the few shows that you go to in Sydney that actually goes off without a hitch. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, just yeah. had a really good time. Don't be wrong, I left somewhat early, yeah. so I wasn't there until three a.m. when it finished. So it yeah. could have been an inch later. But like from what I saw, for the first four hours. Or so yeah, yeah. For the there. first four five hours, banger, yeah, banging yeah, show, banging yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. So um, I reckon a highlight or a random um, because obviously Roach and Pluto, yeah, Shinji, them guys, we love them. They're mm, amazing, mm, and mm, it's mm. a bit of biasy maybe, but yeah. like. Let's say for me, I don't know if you picked up anyone, but for me, there was this girl called Mizuki or some shit like that. That was going. Yeah, dumb. yeah, no, so no, no, for, no, yeah. For me, if yeah. I had to like choose a new undiscovered artist I hadn't seen and like listened to. Yeah, okay. She, whatever her name is, my shout. I know, Mizuki. I know, I know the chick you're talking. We, we, were, we, were we, yeah, yeah. we were standing in the mosh together. We're standing in the mosh together. It was and so w- funny. Yeah, <laughs> I'm in the mosh and I'm like, damn, girls actually fucking. Yeah, this she's right spitting. Now. She's spitting. Fucking and, fire. Yeah. I was like, chuck. And this guy in front of me was like duragged up, singlet. And yeah. he was like <laughs> actual looked like Hood Mandel, yeah, I'll be honest. Yeah. So he turned around, he was like, Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. He turned around, looked at me, and he's like, Yeah. yeah. And she's he's fucking like, it up she's right fucking now. This shit up. No, Cause I said it loud. I was like, yeah. nah, she's going crazy. She's fucking it up. Yeah, she's yeah. going crazy. And he just turned around, he's like, Yeah. 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 She's going dumb. She's yeah. going dumb. <laughs> oh damn. I'm trying to think of who else like killed it last night. Um Shinji said I really liked. Yeah. So I was speaking to Shinji before the show because I, I went in with him. Yeah. And um, he was telling me what he did is he layered his songs. So he was do, he'd do like a song that he has like that's out or well known. And then he'd mix it in and put like a demo next, so like a minute demo. Yeah, right. And then put it in with another song that's well known. Uh, so like it would keep the energy going. Because yeah. like when the crowd would because the demos are only like a minute long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like when the crowd is kind of like still hype but like listening to the new song that's coming, they're like, they get a bit of a taste for it and then it switches straight back into yeah, something they know. Yeah. So it keeps them on that's the, on the road. Smart here. And he killed it. I can't lie. And like, you could tell cause during the show, like I was paying full attention while yeah, it was, while yeah, it was on. Yeah, I was like, yeah. man, is going crazy. Yeah. He killed it. Mm. Damn. But yeah, good event. Um, went late for me. I think I got home like 5am last night. Yeah, long We night. had, um, Euros. It's a classic, um, fucking thing our friends do it's greek yeah yeah greek yeah greek yeah, food. yeah 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 and um funny story guys other guys girls let me know let us Humans, know yep but like we sat there and at front of this euros place and this guy's walked up to like one of the girls and he just goes like i don't know like she was sat down it was so awkward so she was sat on the floor he was stood and he's like sort of bent like over standing over yeah her and like talking ish, yeah and then he's just like it was very broken English as well. I'm not going to lie. So that didn't help his case. So but he was was he much, like broken English drunk or broken English not foreigner. speaking English? Oh. Foreigner and foreigner. drunk. Foreigner. <laughs> <laughs> foreigner and yeah. drunk. And oh, um, yeah, he was just like, oh, you are like hot. Like you're pretty. You are beautiful. And yeah. And then the girl was just not having it. He's just like. And then she's just like, okay, like what's going on? And he kept trying, trying. I'm like, dude, I literally said to him as this is happening. I'm like. Was this is a, your pickup game right now? <laughs> and he's just like... What? Man, yeah. man swung with send bobs and begin. Yeah, <laughs> he actually yeah. swung with I'm that. Like, what are you doing, bro? <laughs> I'm like, have a bit of confidence. Like, at and least then, walk over and ask, like, what a name is, yeah, how a night yeah, was. Yeah, like, if like, you can buy some food or some shit, like, come with a bit of sauce or something. Yeah, he just said, you're hot. He's like, hey, yo, bad. <laughs> he's not even bad. He's like, hey, yo, sex. Yeah. Like, just, just walk over, sex. And then like, she just bad. told him to fuck off and he's just like, He's like, oh, oh okay. Oh, and then oh, just walked off. Okay. But like, surely guys aren't that dumb. Like to, to walk up and think oh, that's the play. Man, you never surely know. not, man. Like some guys are just raised in captivity, you know? Like, <laughs> like some guys just don't know how to act in the yeah, wild. Yeah, honestly, they go I out get there, you, no, they go out there yeah. and they just don't know how to act. Yeah. They're like, chuck, new humans can't Fuck comprehend. Yeah, I can't do I can't comprehend now, yeah. how these humans work. So I'm just going to say whatever works for me. <laughs> yeah. And it usually doesn't come out well. No, it doesn't, no, it doesn't. No. Surely they have like a little reflection though, and like where'd I go wrong? Or do you reckon he's like, no, nah, she's just 
Depends if he was drunk. If he was drunk, oh, he doesn't care. Yeah, Yeah. if he was drunk, he definitely turned around. He was like, "Damn, bro, I'm one for twenty right now. Like, shit. Hopefully, I can get a two tonight. Like, surely, because like he probably he probably got a number of one girl at one point in the night. That's why he's got confidence. That was his version of confidence. It's like, fuck it, another baddie. I'm gonna walk over. He's like, fuck, I'm gonna I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go crazy. He's just been failing since. Yeah, yeah. Since then, like, oh fuck. Yeah, he actually he lucked out first strike, first swing. He fucking home run, and then ever since then he just hasn't landed. Yeah, it's just been an ish time. Oh fuck, free this guy. Oh, free my guy honestly um on the news over event on a more grand scale yep we have another festival announced coming to us in australia <laughs> festival X. Going crazy. yeah I'm man so happy. festival x has been announced yes. december 1st it will be in sydney um we have headliners calvin harris megan the stallion and don toliver yep it's gonna be a fucking crazy event we saw calvin harris last time we went yep he was fucking sick you know how sometimes you're like damn i wish i saw someone like Maybe someone new comes on. Yeah, yeah. I'm not even impressed. I'm at so all. happy. Calvin Harris. He can is come on and play king. the exact same set that he played last time, and I will be honestly happier than yeah, last time because yeah. at least I'll know every single song <laughs> yeah, now. Yeah. And I'll be like, "Shut, this is banging!" Like yeah. I know all the words. Like it's a great it's time. It's gonna be fucking so sick, man. I'm I'm so keen. So I've got pre. Oh no, I don't have pre-sale tickets. Mm-hmm. I've signed up for the pre-sale. I think they're gonna be on sale in like a week or so. Yep, yep. But um, oh man, it feels good. We were talking about it like a week or a mm-hmm. few weeks ago. Mm-hmm. It's starting to happen again. Everything's starting to. Spe- speaking of the um festival x thing and kind of throwing back to the local artists and stuff that we were just talking about yeah. before we get past it um i did see that uh person by the name of babyface mal yeah yeah is on the festival x so, lineup yeah, is. which is which is which is huge yeah realistically like that's good on him yeah the Sydney, no, Sydney I, artists I, getting on big lineups so i that's, saw, that's I a saw good the time. name and i'm like i know your name from somewhere yeah no i've seen i've seen i've seen them around at a few shows because um, he's on the acclaim magazine thing as well like he was um one of the people that on that mm, 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 and um yeah damn good on him though honestly it, it'll be a good time yeah because the thing is whilst australia is open it's not it's like let's say 80 percent open it's not 100 mm, percent mm, mm. full blown right now so it still gives an opportunity for people like him to get on a huge like fucking festival like this, bad. while there are still headliners and it's still like a good event overall, you know what I mean? Badly, badly, badly. So um, yeah, I'm fucking so keen for that, and we potentially have maybe another one lined up. Maybe, Soon, maybe, see maybe. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Honestly, yeah, yeah. it's 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 but in the works. I'm just happy to be fucking living life. You know what I mean? <sighs> so keen. I, yeah. On oh, no, God, I I can't wait to go to festivals again. Yeah, like for, like they're just so it's such a good day. Like I know we speak about festivals so often on this yeah. podcast. I can't lie, it comes up every at least every two podcasts. Yeah. But damn man, yeah. like because we've been like fiending, for fiending long. for years, man, right. fucking years. Yeah. We thought Newcastle was gonna be it, like yeah. however many months ago, and it just wasn't. Like I can't believe that. I still can't believe that. Like, we got cocked. Yeah, we the got day so of, the cock day teased, before, cock teased so we were, bad. Yeah. Had fits organized, had accommodation organized, had cars organized, like had everything organized. And literally the day before, final, we left. like final, final minute, they're like, Chill. sorry, COVID. And then they ran fucking this, that, and all these in, other festivals. In Sydney. Like, yeah. In Sydney. Yeah. The fucking CBD. They were like, nah, COVID doesn't exist. Yeah. But like Newcastle, we're fucking like, 3,000 people live. They're like, chop. Nah, Sorry. bro, you're going to die. Yeah, you can't. You're you going to die. You're, you cannot. fucking idiots. I can't. Lie. Oh, it's a that fucked up segue though. Oh, no. On the note of dying. On the note of death. I yeah. shouldn't laugh, but. Oh. Um, yeah, the school shooting. Oh, that's the issue. That's yeah, that's sorry, that's the yeah. issue thing to laugh at. That's the issue thing to laugh um, at. No, but it's fucked up. Genuinely, it is. It is America, fucked up. Not American people, but America, you're fucked. No, American people, brother, fix your fucking oh, okay, shit. Yeah, some people turn well around fucked. and just say, brother, fix your shit. Like, yeah, and just dead the right. fucking. Oh, dead. That's a poor choice of words. But kill yeah. the. Oh. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Stop just, the guns. Stop the guns. Decline Bro, the guns. You know what I don't get, right? Obviously, there's people over there saying, I don't want guns anymore. Yep. But why are there so many people like, I need guns? Like, I don't get the whole gun obsession. You know what I mean? Okay. I can somewhat understand because if guns have been legally sold for all these years yeah, and literally yeah, yeah. everyone and their dog has a gun, yeah, I'd want a gun. Like, if I knew that I was living in a street where eight out of the ten people on my street had a gun, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would want a gun. But simply, like- simply for the fact of saying, like, like because as like the it's such a tricky argument because the core argument is right. Like, you should be able to protect yourself in your own home from intruders and all that type of yaga. Yeah. That is an argument that I don't disagree with. But it's the you should have background checks. You should have mental health checks. You should be doing like yeah, I yeah, check yeah, every yeah, yeah. every three months. Go in to see a psychologist. Tell have a two hour session with a psychologist. Just talk about your life. Talk about what's going on. Are you having relationship issues? Are you having work issues? Are you having 
issues with family. They, like, you know what I mean? Like you, you should be able to go in and say to someone like, this is what's going on in my life. And if they turn around, like a, a unbiased professional turns around and says like, look, you're in an issue place right now. You don't need a weapon that can end a life in a single, in a single yeah, motion. Yeah. Cause like, the idea though with that mm. is great, but logistically, logistically it just doesn't do work. It impossible. just doesn't work. Yeah. 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 So that's why oh, I think it could create a lot of jobs. <laughs> we need, we need yeah, psychologists, know, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it could, I guess. But like, yeah, realistically, though, realistically, it's, it's not an actual functional thing to yeah. do. That. Like, it does sound good to run it's things like that. It's idealistic, but it's, but it's not it's, realistic. Yeah, exactly. And it's, uh, but the thing I don't get, like, okay, I get you in your sense when you're mm. saying, um, everyone has one, I want one, kind of thing. Yeah. But I'm saying, what if they just cut it full stop and you know do I mean? do do like a buyback? Just no, yeah, a buyback or something. Where, you know where, what they, I mean? where they buy all the guns? Because like in Australia, we can have guns. But like, it's not like that. We yeah. can get gunned if you want to hunt, recreational. We do all the checks like this and stuff mm-hmm. like that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But it's not common for everyone and their dog to have a gun. Yeah. But if you're the type that enjoys hunting or whatever it is, you have that function. If anything, I'd say it's kind of voodoo to have to a have gun. To have a gun in Australia. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, like realistically, the only people that have guns are people on farms Yeah. and trap men them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. realistically, those are the only people that have them. Yeah, and that, at least it's better than everyone. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? literally. Because like in America, realistically, and the thing that's fucked up from what I hear anyway, like... The, and the th- like a thing that it's a big argument right now yeah. with this school shooting that just happened is this dude bought an AR. Yeah. Like you can buy just Fully. an automatic rifle. Fully automatic fucking Walmart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go down to Walmart, babe. Oh, I fuck, want a Glock. Bro. I want a Glock today. Yeah, yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Thanks. And that's it. Thank you. And Cheers. then just go kill fucking, what was it? Just 19 go. kids, two adults. Some, yeah, some shit like and that. And that's it's a 27th school shooting. They've yeah, had yeah, this yeah. Year, this year. I think they average like one school shooting a week in America. Yeah, that's what I, I someone put that in a group chat. Yeah, 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 some, yeah, something yeah. like that, something like that. But like, it's just fucking ridiculous, man. I like, the, I don't get, like, do people actually feel unsafe in America? I feel like I would be if I moved. Maybe them naturally living there. If you're born there, maybe you don't have that feeling. No. But like, definitely as an outsider going, I think in, Americans are built different. I can't lie. I think they're so conditioned to guns it's not even funny like i remember seeing a video the other day of these two dudes that were on face uh not facetime live sorry um instagram live together yeah and they were like two men in a hood somewhere i i don't have sources or fucking anything yeah but two men in a hood and they were on um instagram live together and one of them was basically saying like yeah pull up i'm on this corner and the other one was like yeah bet i'm pulling up and on the live man shot a shot at this guy oh <laughs> And it like flew, hit, hit like a window or some shit near this guy. And the guy on the Instagram live like left the live and the other guy was like, chut, he missed. What? And, the, and it was and like, and that, that was, was the, that was the yeah, video. Was, but yeah, it's yeah. like, it's like, bro, this guy yeah. got shot at yeah. by who, like he knows the guy on Instagram live is coming to shoot at him. And stood sh- out the front of this fucking building, got shot at and went inside and said, chut, missed. Yeah. <laughs> like weak effort, brother. Yeah. Can't even shoot. Like, what are you doing? Is it, you said That's- it before. Like the podcast, GTA. Yeah. Is it GTA? It's just over there? GTA. It's actually it's fucked, fucked up. up. Yeah. They don't care. They're like, yeah. bro, life is irrelevant. I don't know. I feel like it's never going to change because it's too many people that like love guns. It's too. It's too much of a split argument right now. Yeah, and that, I don't think there's anyone in American politics that genuinely has the balls to turn around and pull like what John Howard did way back when, where he did buy back all the guns and made yeah, it super illegal yeah, and yeah. put in all these like checks yeah. and stuff. Like I've been seeing a big push on like Twitter. Like I get a lot of my American information and media mm. through Twitter. And I've been seeing a big push on there saying like the next election, it's up to everyone in America to vote for people that are outrightly against guns. Yeah. Like you need because- to go and vote for these people because the men that are in charge right now are getting paid by associates of the NRA mm. who are saying like, hey, it's technically not a payment from the NRA, yeah. but it's the NRA's best mate who also gets funding from mm. them and all this type of shit. So yeah. it's like, Char, it's, it's, you're getting money from them, just not directly from them. So it's that whole thing. You've got to go through and elect people that are actually going to make a change and yeah. that are vocal about making that change and are going to be bullied by a bunch of old white people or some shit like it's that. Just, yeah. The, the, the fucking question is, though, when will that ever happen? You know? Cause like, this Long. isn't just a new issue. It's not just like, this school shooting happened. Oh, it's, one, no, it's been no, a, no. an it's, issue for it's, decades, it's been I think. Long, like long, long, long. So long, I don't long get time. why. Like it's, it's just to me. It, I can't fathom that. It the, seems like the, such an easy solution. Yeah, yeah. just like, get just rid of the get fucking rid guns. Of the guns. Like, like yeah. why have the guns? I don't get it's just it. Long. Like if someone can fucking explain to me, I the, ge- a genuine reason why it's more favorable than not. Then I'll be open ears to it. I more than mm. likely won't agree with you, but I don't feel that's what I'm trying to say. There mm. is an actual genuine like reasonable excuse for people to say, 
this I, over that. Yeah, no, it just I, seems I do so get you. It, it's it, it is a drag time. Yeah, like I, I like we live here. We don't have to worry about this motherfucker down the road shooting us because we have a imagine because we have a party coming up next next week. Yeah, shout out, um, great hopefully. time. Yeah, but like imagine something goes a bit haywire. And men I'm not start, saying men start opening, yeah, open, rounds. airing out in our yeah, fucking backyard. Yeah. I'm not saying this happens like that Regularly. occasionally in America. But like it can happen. It you can know? happen. I don't even have to think about that. Never. It's, I'm not like having I've a never fucked up once party. Thought, I've never once thought on a night out, like yeah. if some dude has pressed me or some shit, I've never once thought like, damn, this could this dude could be strapping. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, the yeah, most yeah. I've ever thought about is like shit, he could have a knife in his yeah, bum yeah, or some shit yeah, like yeah. that. Like I don't know who this fucking lad is. Because the difference is with like a knife can kill you, right? But a, yeah. a gun gun distance. <laughs> Distance, <laughs> instant. You pull single trigger. Distance and, and instant. Someone. Like yeah. it's it's the perfect method of killing yeah, someone. Yeah, Whereas yeah. a knife, you have to get up close and personal and yeah. stab repeatedly. Yeah. Unless this bitch is like a Rambo and yeah. you can chop a whole arm <laughs> off or some shit like that. Yeah. But like, you know what I mean? Like yeah. if it's just a little fucking kitchen knife or mm. a fucking Woolies fucking is. box cutter or some yeah. shit like that, it's, char- it's not going to kill you. It's fine. It'll hurt. Yeah. And yeah. You'll have to go get stitches or some shit, but yeah. like you'll be right. Yeah. You're not going to die. It's just fucked up. I, I didn't want to like, yeah, we don't really know the ins and outs of the politics over there and all that. Mm-hmm. We just know like, it's fucked up, man. It, I, I didn't want to like harp on it too long and go into all the specific details, like I said, mm-hmm. but it's just- mm-hmm. It's just a long it's, day. It's fucked it's up just, over there. This is America. <laughs> shout out Gambino. Actually, yeah, shout out, shout out Gambino. On, on a lighter note though, on let's change note. it up. Mov- moving on. Hala Madrid. Hala, Hala Madrid. Madrid. Yes, sir. Let's go. We have a Liverpool man in the house. Ch- um, Hala Madrid, my guy. Sad. Hala Madrid. Um, yeah, Champions League final was on this morning. Um, uh, Liverpool lost 1-0 to Real Madrid. Right back like I'm Trent. <laughs> <laughs> you played a shocker. Trent, can, Trent didn't get right back, brother. Trent didn't get right back. What's yeah. going on? Nah, well, that, that's, that's all that matters, yeah, brother. Well, yeah, it fucked up, fucked up, cost it, bro. <laughs> Chat, you're right, you're right. Courtois did pull a madness. To yeah, so oh, you want to speak about that? Yeah, Courtois. We watched the highlights and stuff like that. Man, <laughs> was on one. He woke up and he's like, "We're winning today." He, bro, I don't care. He like, actually said nothing yeah, is going in this yeah, net. Yeah. Like he, they're outrageous. They're not like good. Like they're not just. He didn't do like nine saves. He did nine outrageous, like saves. outrageous yeah. goal stopping, yeah. like game winning yeah, saves. Like at every single up. one of those moments, if any of those goals had gone in, it would have changed the whole oh, tide of the game. Yeah, because they. I told you they only had two shots on target. Real yeah, good. Liverpool real had Madrid. nine shots on target, fourteen attempts. And Courtois said all nine they are going in today. Because Liverpool have such a solid defense. Yeah, like yeah, to be completely yeah, yeah, they yeah. knew that once they went up, oh, it, it wasn't gonna be a three nil game. Yeah, it wasn't gonna yeah, be yeah, a, yeah. it wasn't gonna be a slapping. It was gonna be a we are winning this by the skin of our teeth. Yeah. Like we are we are just we've gotta we've gotta beat this mendum and we do, it doesn't matter how we do it, it doesn't matter if it's dirty, it doesn't matter if it's clean, it doesn't matter if it looks good. Yeah. We just gotta do it. Yeah. And the thing with them, because their attacks are good as well, mm. just fucked up. It's fucked. It's like you watch the game and they were dominant. Like attack wise, they were dominating in comparison. It was trash. But like, they just couldn't score. They just, they couldn't, just couldn't. They just couldn't. Yeah. Seller, honestly, was like oh, he was. The memes he was, are so good. I don't know if you've seen any on Twitter because he goes like, t- t- it's revenge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's getting bullshit. revenge. Did you see Mane though? Mane was like, it's not revenge. They technically played better yeah, than us yeah, last yeah, year. All yeah, this yeah. type of shit. I was like, shut. Free my guy, Mane. Honestly, yeah. Mane needs to get bought. I don't, yeah. know, I don't know about yeah, who yeah. just get bought but nah it killed me when I saw the seller tweet like the, a few days ago like revenge is coming or something I'm getting revenge and then he just got memed the fuck out of it for it cause this guy yeah he just lost again <laughs> oh man Bring him so much for the treble yeah they just could they yeah, fucking yeah they actually folded Champions League folded brother, the EPL they actually just they only got the FA and what is it Carabao I think Carabao yeah, yeah, some some you know mi- they have an, uh, some I minor saw, league local trophies, you know. I saw a stat in all three finals. Yeah. Um they didn't score a single goal no. in open play. No, they, they won, won two they on won penalty, all, penalties they won all against them, Chelsea, both yeah, of them. Yeah. And then yeah, lost this one 0 Yeah. They're actually a shit team. They're they're actually they don't deserve to be anyway, honestly. Bro, who what even is their yeah, front line, brother? Yeah. Actually dog shit. They're actually dog. Honestly, <laughs> Josh, go back go out of here. Liverpool oh, trash, man. man. Oh yeah, do you reckon Liverpool make top four next year? No. No. Surely. Probably fighting Relo now. Fuck fighting Relo bad, brother. Did you see? Actually, it was fucked up. the The stadium <laughs> apparently, like where they played the yeah, game, yeah, they fucked them. Yeah, they fucked all the Liverpool fans. Yeah, so like, people were trying to jump the stadium and shit like that, get in there. Yeah, and then cops and security just started pepper spraying motherfuckers yeah. and riot well, control on them. Did you see like what the like situation was? No, so I was, I was reading on Twitter, and apparently, so there's like five gates on either side of the so Oval Stadium. Yeah, five gates on either side: Real Madrid side, Liverpool side. Yeah, Real Madrid all open, going in. Liverpool side, one gate was open. Four gates were closed. So they, they, 
Oh, this is there like was the there, there, was, there was there was no apparent reason. Oh, like there was no like indication as to why gates were closed. Like yeah, it, make, right. it makes no sense. Like oh. why would you force everyone, to every walk single one day. Liverpool fan, to walk through the singular gate? <laughs> yeah. Like it's such a long That's day. Stupid. So they pretty much all yeah because it got bottlenecked. There were people that were trying to get in the game as it got to halftime. Still, like still. So by the time it got to halftime, as you fucking rightfully would be. I'm jumping whoever and whatever right. to get to that fucking game. That makes You've sense. You've just paid man. hundreds, if not thousands, thousands think, of dollars no, for yeah, a yeah, yeah. Champions League final ticket in fucking Paris. Paris, yeah. And you can't even watch your fucking game. And you video. can't even fucking watch it. You're sitting outside listening to people. Ooh, ah, yeah. ah. Like, you know and what I mean? And you're being fucking squished probably. And you're, as yeah, and you're, trying, trying, to, and you're trying to push through, yeah. Mandem, trying to argue with people, telling people to open things up. Like, Damn. it's a long day. So these Mandem just started jumping. They were like, fuck it, bro. We're getting over. And then cops turned around and said, no, like, we don't know if you have tickets or not. You have to get out you have to wait all this type right. of yoga and i'm like fuck you yeah as you would like yeah. fuck these men yeah. brother. i want to go watch it's this not game. like it's a random apl game. it's champions league final champions league final in paris yeah like your team doesn't make that every year yeah and no. what if they won like what they just weren't there you, for that moment in history you just didn't they get paid to watch all it. that money paid all that money to, to not watch your team of it. Champions yeah, league. like it's a long up. day it's a long day i feel like soccer fucking run things so horribly sometimes like yeah. why? Why did that happen? You know, I'll be I'll be really interested to see how the Qatar World Cup goes. Yeah, that's been sketchy that's, for a minute. That's though, gonna be with all the racist shit yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. the fucking heat apparently is meant to be. It's gonna be humid. Drag. And hot so and yeah, yeah. It's oh, it's, yeah. It's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting. But I, like, I'll because like I wonder if they're gonna because usually they play all the games pretty close together, don't they? Like when the World Cup starts, it's, it's like, like a, a one month. A, thing. Yeah, it's like yeah, a, it's, yeah, it yeah. just goes. Yeah, like yeah. like World Cup is just on. Yeah. So if these men are like, because if you're getting a whole bunch of men that are used to playing in relatively normal conditions, yeah, and go chuck them all in super fucking hot conditions, you're gonna yeah. you're gonna see different players strive like uh, you thrive. Sorry, yeah, like different players that are used to playing in different conditions are gonna be like, yeah, this is lit. I, Whereas if you've got some fucking English dude that only ever plays in ten cold, degrees, yeah, yeah, and he's out there playing in fucking thirty five degree yeah. heat, he's gonna be dead by yeah, halftime. Yeah, like he's gonna yeah. be fucked. Well, I think because people have been like saying, oh. I'm, yeah, people have been saying, I guess, like, mm. why is it situated in the middle of when all the seasons are running and stuff? Mm. I think it's situated then because it's one of the cooler periods in Abu Dhabi and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So they're just like, fuck so it. So they're like, we have to put it here because it will literally be too hot to fucking Like, no, run. they'll be dying. Yeah, like, yeah. If they did it during this, like, off period well, right now. Well, apparently they're all air-conditioned stadiums, but even then, if they... That's a crazy during, concept, isn't there? Yeah, air-conditioned stadium. Drink. What the fuck? Drink. Like, how do, you, how do you do that? It's, it's a long day. It must be, like, completely huge, closed, obviously. Huge with ventilation. Disgusting, huge yeah, ventilation. Huge ventilation. Huge ventilation. It's crazy. I, someone was even saying if they have that much money just put like um what was it i don't know the exact wording but like have like these air cooler things come through the ground of the grass no nah, so long just though. to fucking keep imagine if cool. you fell on one of those though that's all like a ball bubbles off it or some shit like no it's, it's been doing like, like under the ground oh like under the like it like it's breathing through yeah the dirt. yeah <laughs> someone so suggested that uh, like is that even possible uh, I, don't, I don't know about that one yeah. i don't know about that one oh, i reckon they'll have a whole bunch of vents on like the side of the pitch yeah. That'll just bl be blowing cool. air yeah, onto the pitch, yeah. yeah. You couldn't do it too hard, though, because, like, it would actually change the trajectory <laughs> of balls and stuff that are getting sent in. <laughs> when you're whipping in a corner yeah. and it starts fucking wobbling. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's just getting pushed between all the fucking vents yeah, and stuff like that. Yeah, you got, like, you and your mate on each side of the stadium controlling the vents, and you're like, you're a knuckleball. <laughs> doosh, yeah. doosh, doosh, doosh. <laughs> and actually add another layer to the World Cup and be Fuck. fucked up. Do you, do you remember the... What was the ball called the in the 2010 World Cup or the 2012 World Cup? What do you mean what was a ball called? It was, there was a ball that had a really... Do, Josh, do you remember the ball that had a really good, like... It used to knuckle ball really crazily? Do you know? Do you remember what it was called? I can't what do you remember. mean? So, like, it was built a certain way to be knuckleboarded? Yeah, either. it was... I don't know. I don't know how it was built. I think it was built really smoothly. And it used to knuckle ball crazy. Oh, really? And it was, like, a big thing in the world... I think it was the World Cup. And they were like, yo, like, this is dragged. Like, Whoa. like this, this shouldn't be allowed. Well, I, yeah, I actually saw something on this. I didn't realize it was like a science to soccer ball. Yeah, right? no, the ball, the ball dynamics is because yeah, yeah. if like if you fuck up the making of the ball on one side, overweighs the rest of it. Yeah, like the yeah. ball is gonna spin weirdly. What's it called? The Jabalani? Yeah, the Jabalani ball. Honestly, yeah, no, no, that's it, that's it, that's it. Jabalani ball. Apparently, yeah. if you hit that shit right, fucking whirlwind, brother. Yeah, like, just yeah. goes, it just goes brazy. Well, I saw someone, so like a normal soccer ball yeah. has like the hexagonal things, whatever they are, yep, yep, yep. at a certain pattern. Yep. I saw one concept where it was like a million of those mm. little ones everywhere. Mm. And I saw this guy fucking kick it and it literally didn't do what a normal soccer ball, it just fucking went. I don't know why. It just goes. But I don't get it. I don't get how... Aerodynamics. Really? 
I guess. Like, yeah, it must like be. That, that, like, that's all I can genuinely think of. Yeah. Like, it just must break air differently when, yeah. it's, when it's just built different. Yeah, it's fu- it's weird. It's interesting because it's literally the same sphere size. Mm, mm. Like, it's the same height as a ball with air in it. Well, the balls... But it fucking tell me how moves they've, they've been getting lighter over the years. Like, they're obviously using lighter oh, materials yeah. and, like, all that different type of shit. And the yeah. grips on them are getting better and all that, like, well, everything. random. Have you ever seen a golf ball been hit with dimples, which is a normal golf ball, and yeah. without? Yeah. Yeah, it actually changes so much of the way it like moves in the air and stuff like that. It's fucking yeah. drag. It's dragged out. Weird time, aerodynamics is... Odd. Science, thing. Physics science, is science, science ain't it, brother? Yeah. <gasps> oh no. Um. Anyway, though, we'll get into. Oh, actually, shit. Nah, something quick. Okay. Something quick. Yeah. I saw something funky this morning on Twitter. Yeah. And it was a claim that a girl said she got raped in the metaverse. I'm like, how? How do you get raped in the metaverse? You can't. Brother, you, you log off. You, yeah. Log. Turn this shit <laughs> off. Turn this shit off. What's going on? Is it? Is this going to be a serious concern going into the metaverse? Well, sexual abuse in the yeah, metaverse. Yeah, surely. Like, hey, it can't brother, be you right. touched my cyber titty. Yeah. Or you yanked my cyber dick. I didn't allow it. <laughs> That's fucked up. That's There's so no drag. way it's an actual concern, right? It's taking the piss. It has to be. And and the quote is, I've got it written here. Um, Women claim yeah, she was virtually raped by a stranger in the meta metaverse. And <laughs> while others watched and passed around a bottle of vodka. <laughs> <laughs> well, Just, I, mean, I don't get it I mean I've been fucking people up on COD for a while so <laughs> like if, if we're dragging anything yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like you may as well like where does it stop yeah, like yeah. like if you kill someone on COD I mean on GTA are you get, get getting sentenced yeah, to murder? murder like I what know. like where does it actually stop yeah like they killed my Skyrim character <laughs> I want to fucking I want I'm them, traumatized send them to uh, 10 yeah. years like max like what the fuck like, like it makes no sense surely yeah it's bullshit it can't be anything serious if anyone actually like is until, listening to the story until 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 they have like sensory like sensory outfits oh that no fair fair honestly like if you're if, if you're, you're in your home up, and yeah, you feel yeah, some yeah, person whack yeah, your ass nah, that's abuse yeah that's yeah, abuse to that, that point yeah no you know what um, I'm all for that if, if something gets implemented then calm <laughs> like, but if you're literally just playing a game and, and your controller gets vibrates big, or yeah, some like, shit like go up man but if you're wearing like a full sensory suit and you start getting whacked up long day long day long day long day like you Actually, Chuck, could you imagine the power I don't of say that? the word, but like you're getting fucked. Yeah. Like, yeah. Because <laughs> I whisper it. <laughs> at home. Uh, at home. Yeah, you're no. not even looking at the person that's doing it to you yeah. and you're feeling it through your you're suit. Just, you're just feeling this it. This sensory you're suit, you're like, poked. oh, okay. Just poked. Char- they're going to have to have some. Bro, you know like the Neuralink thing? Yeah. That you got like a, imagine it's not even a suit. Like it connects oh, to your neural link because your brain actually makes you feel things. Oh, wow. So you're feeling yeah. being fucked when you're not actually being you fucked. You stood on your couch. You sat there getting fucked. Your, your, whole, your whole body's <laughs> going through getting fucked. fucked and you have no, like you can't, you're just like chat, I guess. Oh, man. Chat, bro, imagine if you hack someone and just put them on fuck mode. Like they're oh, just still getting damn. fucked the whole time. That's why a Neuralink's not going in my head. Yes, it's just ish. It's not going in it's my head. Ish. If anyone decides to one day fucking hack that shit, bro, well, think I'm of, just gonna like think not about like the fappening and shit. Like fappening. You do remember when fucking like all those nudes got leaked years ago? Oh off, yeah, like, yeah. The I feel I, what it was called. Yeah, the yeah, iCloud yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah. Like that shit used to, like everyone trusted that so much. Yeah, but, iCloud. Like, oh, it's not true iCloud, much. brother. Just put your photos in the cloud. Like put your photos on a fucking random server database. Just do it. Now they're saying, hey, yo, just put your brain in a random server database. Yeah. Just do it. Trust. Just do it, please. Trust, trust, trust. We it have works, high security. Trust, 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 trust. High security. Elon Musk made it. Trust. Yeah. Musk? Oh, yeah. oh, you didn't mention Musk. Oh, yeah, I'm down. I'm sorry, signing. I'm signing yeah. now. I'm signing now. Fucking sickos, man. Idiots, brother. Anyway, that was a little fucked up story that Crackhead, I read this morning. Huh? Yeah, yeah, Brady. Um, but we'll finish it off. New music. Hasty Radio, as we do. Yes, sir. Um, Hasty Radio, like I said, it's a new thing we're running. Oh. Um, what's your song of the week? You're hitting different song. Oh, ch- let me find my phone real you quick. Find it. Oh, okay. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta run it up. Oh, oh yeah, I think it's called. I think it's called. Um, some, some, some industry. Yeah, nice. In, yeah kill it, kill it, kill it. Fuck the industry. By look, I'm, I might, I might butcher this. So it's seven seven o o or seven seven zero zero. I don't know. What would you? Who would you say that is? Uh, seven seven hundred. Seven seven hundred, I guess. Yeah, maybe. But it's because of like yeah, the O's. lowercase yeah, O's. Yeah. Um, him featuring Ron Ronda maybe Dosa. Struggling here. Ronda Dosa. Yeah, Ronda Dosa. Ronda Dosa, Central C and NKO. Yeah, it's a foreign um single. Yeah, yeah listen to it earlier. It's a, yeah, it's it's got a. I don't know who the foreign mendum on it is. I'm assuming it's Ronda Dosa or the NKO dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I think the album came out a few two days ago. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, two yeah. days ago. Album yep. came out two days ago. It's called. Yeah, fuck the industry. 
and it bangs. Yeah. I'll be honest. Like, we were listening yeah, to it earlier it's hard. And, it, and it slaps. We were saying, because it's foreign, you can't understand what's being said in some parts, but, like, you know they're putting their soul they're into putting, that. They're putting yeah. their shift in, you can hear... No, uh, all passion. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you um, remember, there was a Dutch Avelli song where he d- dropped it with like four different foreigners from f- one to Yeah, no, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. That was one of the biggest songs. because it, it was huge. One, he revolu- not revolutionized, so he didn't do that. Pioneered. I guess pioneered, like a more... Like bringing in all the drill fucking drill from, from everywhere. everywhere. Yeah, and saying yeah, like, yeah, hey, yeah. yo, worldwide drill. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Just, and it was lit. Because it, it like, that was back when Dutch was doing the things with like 1-4 as yeah, well. Yeah, like, yeah, he was like, forcing like, international Dutch was really drill. out here, I can't lie. Yeah, but then he fucked it. He fucked it. it. He yeah, fucked he it. So fucked it. And yeah, he needs to go. Hey, we don't, we don't support Dutch. Yeah, no. I literally, I think I've, I've told you this. Like when Ever since it happened, no. I, a song comes on, Skip, skip. Yeah, out of here. I I can't even listen to you. And it's it's a thought. And I've had this conversation with people, like, not just in this scenario, but like when someone does something not in the greatest uh, fucking light, yeah, yep. You like are typically not favorable for them anymore, so you don't fucking listen to shit. Uh, you try and not to support them. You yeah, try not yeah, to give yeah. them a boost. Yeah. But I know some people that don't care. They're like, but that was them before. I'm like, nah, man, nah, I can't. Nah, nah. It's it depends. It depends like, what it is. Okay. At Even the end of the that, day, their actions are them. Yeah. Like their yeah, actions yeah. make them. Yeah. And if you believe that, oh, that was them before this all came out, it's like, well, how do you know they weren't doing the same shit? Yeah, yeah. Prior to this song coming out, yeah. and you just haven't heard about it. Mm. Like you don't know. But all I know is that. Mendem was doing some yeah. dragged shit. Yeah. Um, my my song though. Yeah. I've got Thousand Miles by Kid Leroy. Fair. I haven't. You Very know, fair. When did it come out? Um, a while ago, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, it like was a while ago. I didn't listen to when it came out. I just, like, it, all of a sudden, suddenly. It was one of those songs where, like, I feel like it didn't get as much promo. Like, don't remember, I saw it everywhere. Yeah. But <laughs> I feel like it didn't get as much promo as I thought it would. Like, it's all over the radio, to be fair, but we don't really listen to radio. Yeah, we don't listen, that's why. It's, it's so, the young people issue. Yeah, radio was, just isn't, isn't the haps yeah, anymore. Yeah, I was with my sister, and then she was like, oh, like, I love this song, played yeah. it. I'm like, oh, I've heard it briefly from somewhere. I'm yeah. assuming it must be TikTok or something, someone has the sound, mm-hmm. or like, mm-hmm. but anyway, I yeah, it's just been my jam. And it's, it's no, like, particular reason. I'm like, this is a fucking, ba-. but it's one of those catchy songs yeah, that just get stuck no, in your head. Yeah, he, it's like earworm songs. He's you know good at I mean? it, he's good at it, he's good at it. Him... She's, he's nowhere near the extent of this girl, but I'm going to give this girl as an A1 tier, mm. Taylor Swift. Taylor, oh, bad. She bad. knew Taylor how Swift. to made song, like make songs that were stuck in your head for, for weeks. Long, and like long, you'd hate long, it. You'd be like, long, fucking, long, I, hate, I hate Taylor Swift. I hate, I hate listening about to this. It, but, but she somehow gets the song stuck in your head. It comes on and you're like, chop. Yeah. Banger. She, she loves it. Taylor Swift, I give her that. She knows how to make earworm music. Do you reckon like her exes have any sort of like royalty? <laughs> Her exes. Yeah, the, you know all the exes that she writes all the songs about? No, like, they do you reckon they can turn around and be like, hey, yo, Copyright, this, this, like, is this is my name. <laughs> this is yeah, about me, brother. Uh, this, is, this is my l- fucking, yeah. what's the, oh, chat, what's the word? Um, uh, Something, something, something. Oh, I don't worry nice. about it. Don't worry about it. Something. Oh, but anyway, Kid Leroy, Thousand Miles is mine. Oh, he's pressed now. He needs this word. <laughs> This is my something property, intellectual property. That's oh, the one. Yeah, That's yeah. the one. Yeah, that, that was the intellectual property. Uh, it's not really. It's not really. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, now that I've thought of so the then, word, it was yeah, just wrong. It's just, yeah. It's yeah, just yeah, silly. Yeah. Don't worry about me, guys. But yeah, catch them songs on HD Radio on Spotify. Find that in the description of your YouTube. Yes, yeah, seriously. Like Spotify, have you listening to this? Like Instagram, said. TikTok, everything. Hit it. But um, yeah, Thousand Miles and uh, uh, fuck called? the industry. Yeah, fuck the industry. Um, on some new music though, some other notable mentions. We oh. had Sleepy Hollow. Yeah. Um, released Die Young. I yeah. fucked with that. With the Interesting story with that one you were telling me. Yeah. So the 347 yeah. Aiden yeah. Is, is the artist's name. And so he initially released the song. I can't, I can't tell you how long ago it was. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah, he initially released the song or he released it on TikTok maybe. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was just like his own song. Thong? Oh. <laughs> his own thong. Mike yeah. Tyson. Uh, Mike Tyson. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Um, yeah, so he released his own song and then Sleepy Hollow must have hit him up and yeah. said like, hey, yo, like, I fuck with this, can I sample it? And he's a kid. And he's, he's kid them. Yeah, like, like young, like young, like, like young teens. Young yeah, teens, like, I'd yeah. say, I, for, like, he sounds very young. Like, he, he sounds, hasn't hit puberty yet. I'd, I'd say he's between like, yeah, 14 and 16, to yeah. be honest. Like, he's, he's, he's not really up there right now. No. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's a banger, I'll be honest. Yeah. And like, just the way it all came around. Like it's yeah, yeah, time. no, it's a, it's a cool song. And I, I love it, I fuck with it. Mm. Um, Mona Lisa was another shout for me. Mona Lisa, who's that um, like? It's like an Afrobeat song with Chris Brown in it. Shut It's actually- How, you, how are you going to say that you don't support Dutch, but you support Chris Brown? Nah. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. What do you mean? That's fine. Didn't he like Men's serve beat his time? Rihanna. Didn't he serve his time? I don't think he ever served time for beating Rihanna. What do you do? What, what do you do? I don't know. I d- Did he? 
Did he serve yeah, time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Josh. Okay. Um, see, he, I don't support Chris Brown, so I don't know his story. <laughs> nah. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, he's made amends. He has he though? You know, I told you it's contextual. What Dutch did, I don't want to explain what happened yeah, it's to long, that guy. It's long, it's he long, did it's a, long. like a, yeah, a fucked yeah, up thing. And yeah. I'm not saying him beating Rana isn't fucked up. I can't lie, it's so ish. But like... It's bad. But like, I, I've, ne- I've never like fucked with Chris Brown. Because of it? I wouldn't say because of it specifically. I just, I kind of just don't like his music in general. Yeah, like right. it's not really what I fuck with. But like, it, it is a contributing factor. Like my whole thing is how the fuck can you hit Rihanna, brother? See, I wasn't really around, like I was born, but I wasn't really like <laughs> conscious of this time when it happened. So like when it happened, I was aware of the after effect like, Years ago, I, when I heard about it, years ago, mm. he beat things. So I, I never like deeped you, it yeah, no. at the time, and I wasn't Bro, listening he, to music at that time. Beat her, man! Like he smashed her like, shit up. Beat her shit up. Oh. Like she had like fucked up face and everything. Like yeah. he, she, she was fucked up. It was ish. I don't know. Yeah, honestly, it's some food for thought, you know. Yeah, some nah, food for man, thought. maybe I gotta get rid of that. Yeah, yeah. honestly, maybe you gotta go through your playlist, gotta, you know. Gotta, tomorrow, check myself. Sure. <laughs> See where I draw the line on things, you know. Be, like beating drug women, dealing, fine. yes, hitting licks, yes, beating women, no. Uh, Dutch is just yeah, good. Unmentionable, no. Yeah. Unmentionable, no. Um, and then a bar about a bar, Chance the Rapper. They were like the three notable ones for me. Yeah, we watched that. Just yeah, then. it was weird. It was. I don't know if it's an actual song or what. Like, I don't I know think what it is. It is definitely is an actual song, but. He's just. It dumb. must be because he's trying some new wave. He's trying to he's be different in some some manner. Fucking different. It was literally just like a. It didn't it was, really make it was sense either. It was storytelling. It was storytelling. Yeah. It, it With was, good graphics and all that. It was amazingly shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was good storytelling. But it's just random. But it was just. It was like a minute twenty, and it was just the story didn't make sense to him. It just wasn't. It was about a white dude. Like drinking in a, a bar. Yeah, and like talking about like how long the yeah the line, line was, for the toilet and, was and how and like different sections of the line are going through different emotions. The guy at the back wants to piss. The guy at the front realizes it's closed, it can't go in. The guys in the middle aren't aware it's getting closed, and they're just like, "Damn, this is taking a while. I want to yeah. go in," kind of thing. It's he's just literally talking about know. yoga. Yeah, I don't like, know. Like absolute yoga. Like it actually had no like. I don't know if there's some type of like Promo maybe I'm maybe like, oh, maybe I'm not deeping it. Maybe I need to get in the mind of an English teacher. You know what did he mean when yeah. he said that the guy at the back of the line just wanted to piss? You yeah. know, like what did he really what mean? What does that actually mean? What does it actually mean? What did the author intend when he wrote oh, that, Jordan? Fuck, like, I hate that. Like what? Comprehend it. Oh, really take it in. Understand no, it. Rework that. it. Chill fuck on it. High school English fucks my yeah, fuck. Fucks me watching movies in particular. Honestly, no, I love I, watching movies in fucking any depth English. Analyze it and stuff like that. I just, oh, no. oh, I just oh, watch yeah, the oh, fucking movies. <laughs> no, I meant when we learned like film technique and shit. Yeah, I used long, to watch movies for long ages day, and long I used day. to like break it down. I couldn't enjoy the movie with shit. Yeah, but like, chat, I like the way that they panned the camera yeah, so they yeah, could include yeah. the red rose in the background to signify yeah, love and shit like that. Like, fuck off, brother. It's, shit. it's not serious. Anyway, we'll end it there. <laughs> Anyways. We'll end it there. A bit of a waffle at the end on some yeah, shit. But, it's um, a great time. That is another episode. We have some guests lined up. I know we said it a couple of times, but we actually have them lined up coming on. I think next episode we should have one. Hopefully. Um, and then a couple more going after yep, that and coming. back into the roster of it. So Yes, sir. Um, yeah, that, that'll be all. That'll be all. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you. Love you all. Um, and we'll catch you on the next episode. Great times. Great Peace. classic kids. Bye.